So it wasn't about the relationship to Judaism. It was more about competence. I think that his embarrassment was that we didn't know anything, um, that we were ignorant. It wasn't that we didn't feel Jewish, because I think he knew that we did feel Jewish. Um, it wasn't about identity. Uh, it was about competence and knowledge. And I think what was important to him was that the younger generation, first of all, be able to perpetuate the language, which we couldn't do. We, we lost it. And that we have knowledge of Judaism without necessarily being believers, but those are two separate things. And you can have an understanding of how Judaism started or is believed to have started, how it evolved over the centuries, what its values are, how those values are expressed in culture, both um, literature, which was probably mostly you know, an 18th, 19th century creation, so relatively recent, um, and so that would be a way in which you would have substantive knowledge that would be meaningful in forming a Jewish identity. And I think that's really what, what he wanted and what the idea was of the Shalom Aleichem Folk Shul, was to have people who were educated in their heritage and to understand what it means to be a Jew from a heritage point of view and from a values point of view and from a culture point of view and to have that, um, uh, that knowledge and that understanding. Uh, and I, I think that includes having an understanding of the, the, uh, the God worship part and uh, the services to some extent and to know what that is. Again, it doesn't mean you necessarily have to do it or that you have to um, even um, have any warm feelings about it. You can still reject it, but you should at least know what it is. And I think that that was what he felt. But, you know, the Yiddish language was a huge part of it. And I think, I think he was right. Um, I think that there wasn't really a reason that my parents' generation couldn't have perpetuated the language by speaking it in the house. And, uh, I, you know, I'm sort of sorry that, that they didn't. I had campmates, a couple of campmates, who I think grew up in households uh, where the parents spoke Yiddish, and they could speak Yiddish. And um, I was jealous. And I think that would have made a huge difference to Zadie in terms of how he felt about us. It wouldn't have made a big difference in terms of how he felt about the outcome of the Shalom Aleichem folk movement and what he felt might have been needed in terms of Jewish education going forward, but it would have made a difference. It would have made a huge difference to him personally, I think.